Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am back again with another ASMR mukbang eating show. And today I have some breakfast. Ooh. I have scrambled eggs and bacon and a keto pancake. <clears throat> and I have some coffee. Mm -mm. And then I didn't put my syrup on it yet, but I have my sugar-free log cabin syrup. I'm gonna leave my pancake for last there. You guys see my pretty Christmas tree back there? <laughs> so yeah, I wanted to do a mukbang because it's been a while since I've done one of these with you guys. And it's a rainy day today. I don't know, we're supposed to get some cold weather again. I have no idea, but it does feel a little chillier outside this morning. So, I don't know, let's see how the day gets, because if it keeps raining, I'm not going to be able to go out for my walk, but, mm. oh, I'm sorry, you guys, I totally forgot to lift up my plate today, I always put, like, something under so you guys could see my food, but. Mm. I love that crunchy bacon. <clears throat> mm. So good. So yeah, I'm just breaking my fast with you guys. <clears throat> Today is my feast day. I just broke a 36 hour fast. I'm doing alternate day fasting. Mm. It is the holidays and I have quite a few things coming up. I have a Christmas party that I was invited to. And then we got Christmas Eve at my mom's house. We got Christmas dinner at, here at home. So it helps to do ADF. Because when you're fasting every other day, and it doesn't really matter what you eat, as long as you're eating your maintenance calories on your eating days. And then yeah, but I always like sticking to keto, you know? But yeah. There's not going to be any keto foods at any of those Christmas parties. <laughs> so I'm preparing myself ahead of time with doing alternate day fasting. Mm. Oh my God, you guys, these eggs are so good. <laughs> Usually I only do two strips of bacon. But since I'm doing ADF right now, counting calories doesn't really matter that much. Because yeah, regardless, I'm not gonna go over my maintenance calories in one day. Like, even if you go over like a little bit, doesn't really make a difference. You know what? These eggs taste so good. Cooked in um, Kerrygold butter. That's pure Irish grass-fed butter. I always buy this. It's the best butter to consume when you're on keto. And like I put a lot on my pan. When I cook my eggs. And it tastes so good. So you see, 
when you're doing alternate day fasting. It's better that you go, if you go like a little bit over calories instead of under. So if I know you got to get those fats in to make sure you get your consumption of calories per day because since you're going every other day without eating, you're going 36 hours without food, it's very important that on your eating days you consume enough calories because you don't want to get malnutrition, you know? So yeah, I use that butter generously when I'm doing ADF. Because that does help get your calories up. Especially if you're used to eating so little. Like, you know, when you do keto and you lose so much weight, your stomach shrinks. So there's only so much food you could eat. So sometimes I'm like, oh my god, I'm nowhere near maintenance calories right now. And I'm already full for the day. So that's how you sneak those calories in through the fat. You know? Cook with lots of butter, coconut oil. Again, that's when you're doing ADF, alternate day fasting, which means you're eating every other day. You're going one full day, 36 hours without food, and then the next day you're eating. If you're doing regular keto, you're doing like regular um, calorie restriction daily, then you need to be careful. You need to use the, those healthy fats sparingly because you're not, you're not going to lose weight. It's going to take you forever. <laughs> But yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, my eggs are so good. With that butter. Okay, I'm gonna grab my pancake. Transfer the rest of my bacon over here. <laughs> Wow, you guys, believe it or not, I'm already getting full. So yeah, I don't know if we might be getting some cooler weather again. I hope so. That'll be nice. Mm. Especially for Christmas. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, so yummy. <laughs> <clears throat> How this year flew by. It's insane. The other day I was out for my walk and I was thinking, man. It seems like just yesterday was Halloween.
Halloween flew by. <laughs> Thanksgiving flew by. And now Christmas is going to fly by. It's already in two weeks. Can't believe it. I look forward to 2020. I always believe that bigger and better things are coming. Oh, you guys, I'm really struggling here. I don't think I can finish this. I'm so full. <laughs> I look so good, but oh my god, I feel like I can't take another bite. Mm -mm. Oh, I thought I spilled some syrup. Yeah, I can't. If you're full, stop eating. Mmm. Oh my god. It's strange that I got full so fast. See, that's one of the benefits <coughs> of fasting is that you get to a certain point where you're not even hungry anymore crazy like the night before when you're already in your fasting mode and you know that the next day you're gonna break your fast I think it's when you get like the hungriest and you're like oh my god I can't wait for the morning to come so I can break my fast in the morning and this and that and oh man I was dreaming about food all night I wake up I cook my food and now I'm not even <laughs> it always happens always you guys always it never fails. Every time that I'm breaking a fast from alternate day fasting, that always happens to me. I'm here thinking I'm going to be starving in the morning. And once my food is ready, it's like... But you know what? That's a good thing. Because um, that's how you know that you're not going to end up uh, binge eating on your feast days because fasting just it's amazing it's amazing all the benefits that you reap from it and eventually you get to this place where not only does your stomach reduce so much but you, you know you learn to have discipline you have your food addiction if you used to if you came from that place you know i from the past i am no longer a food addict and that's how i know that because i am able to fast and i am able to go long periods of time without food and when I do eat, I don't gorge myself. That's how I know I'm no longer a food addict. But if you come from that, you know, that's how you know that you've, wow, you've learned discipline and moderation. And, and it's amazing. It really is amazing. And I used to be so scared of falling off the wagon if I had a, like, little cheat or something. But now I know that I'm in total control of my body and what I eat. And fasting has taught me that discipline. It's amazing. But anyways, all right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this mukbang. As always, stay tuned for more. If you guys are new to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos. And click on the description box below for a link to all my social media. And I will see you all in my very next video. All right, guys, bye-bye.